Yo, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's Model Warfare 2 vid, we're going to be going over the top five best SMGs here for you guys to use in Model Warfare 2. These are, of course, going to be my personal builds that I love dropping my nukes, my hunter pluses, all that stuff with. So I think you guys are going to enjoy today's video. If you haven't enjoyed the video, make sure you give it a like, subscribe as notifications turned on, and let's hop into this. Okay, so for our first gun here today, we're going to be taking a look at the Lockman sub. This is a great submachine gun. It's one of my personal favorites in Model Warfare 2. But before we get into that, let's get into all the rest of the shenanigans here, which is AKA going to be our tactical, our stim shot that stays the same on all of our setups the semtex which runs on all of our setups as well and the perk package here are double time scavenger fast hands and quick fix this is just what i run on all of my class setups it doesn't really matter what i'm using an ar smg i always run the setup really great for those nukes hunter pluses so on and so forth and of course then i have the munitions box as my field upgrade but now let's get into these attachments here for the lockman sub so these are going to be my attachments here on the lockman sub and i'll go through and explain to you guys why i use every single one of them but first attachment is going to be the x10 rr40 sound suppression bullet velocity damage range and repo smoothness this is a great silencer to have run on any of your smgs this is undoubtedly probably the best ones to run in this category if you're not going to run a silencer you could probably go for something like an ftac castle comp but otherwise this is the way to go the two on this thing here's gonna be a negative 0.54 on that left side a negative 0.35 on the bottom a quick reminder though you guys do not have to max out your tunes you can by maxing out your tunes really mess with the gun and it not in a very good way like it can become very detrimental very fast by going all the way so don't use that slider and max it out that's that and next up in the barrel section we're going for the ftac m sub 12 or m sub 12 yep there we go uh the bullet flossy increase damage range increase of course recoil control and hit fire accuracy really really great uh barrel to be able to run i personally find that this gun feels so much weaker when i do not run this barrel so that's why I, this kind of stays on all of my lockman sub builds the tune on this thing here is gonna be a negative 0.27 on the left and a negative 0.25 there on the bottom this is just a great way to be able to kind of you know utilize this barrel and i really like the way i've tuned this after that, we're going to go here to the laser section. VLK Laser 7MW, one of my personal favorite laser attachments to run on any build. Uh, aim down sight speed, aiming stability, and sprint to fire speed. The only con to this is that the laser is visible upon ADS. Otherwise, there are no cons. And to be honest, it really doesn't matter if they see your laser because you're going to be taking people out so fast anyways as you're rushing around, not camping in a corner where people may see your position. After that, we're going to go to the underbrow section, running the Phase 3 Grip aiming idle stability hip fire accuracy and recoil stabilization this is a top tier you know under barrel in my opinion between this and i believe it's the f tac ripper 56 are really really solid i absolutely love these two um you know under barrels but the phase three grip is what we have access here to on this gun so we're running that the two on this is gonna be negative 0.28 and then a plus 0.13 on the bottom and for our last attachment on this gun is gonna be the 40 round mag here we like to you know increase it from the base 30 to 40 but we don't like to go for the 50 because it slows you down a little bit too much and that's definitely not preferable here in modern warfare 2 so uh we're gonna be running this and this is gonna be my uh, full builds here for the lockman sub you guys should definitely try this out for our second gun here today we're gonna be taking a look at the vasnev 9k this is a gun that's got very very low recoil almost no recoil with the build i'm gonna give you guys and it's just a super fun gun to be able to use it's actually used in cdl pro matches as the smg of choice so this is definitely a top tier gun in modern warfare 2 but let's hop into the build for it all right so these are gonna be my attachments but uh let's get into the first one here which is gonna be the x10 rr-40 what we ran on the lockman sub not can explain this one again you guys kind of know the drill and how this thing actually works uh the two on this thing here is going to be all the way max out there for that aim down sight speed as you can actually max this thing out and a negative 0.65 there on the bottom you can max out some of these attachments but a large majority of them you should definitely not so i just want to put that out there in case people are going to be wondering after that we're going to skip the barrel and the underbarrel section go straight down here to the magazine but to put on that 45 round mag this is not a necessary attachment but i personally like having more than the 30 round stock just because i feel like the vasnev is one of those guns where i could just lay on the trigger and just because it's got such little recoil it's a lot more fun to be able to lay on that trigger because you don't really have to compensate nearly as much as some of the other guns in the game so 45 rounds works out really nicely and i don't think it slows down the gun too much after that, we're going to go up here to the top, and then we're going to throw in the FSS OLE-V laser. This is one of my other favorites to be able to run on the guns besides that 7MW. If you get a chance to run this as well, pretty much does the same thing, just a bit of a different name. Uh, this is like a lot of the attachments in this game. It seems like a lot of them do the same thing with different names, but it is what it is. After that, in the stock section, we're running the Marquee R7 stock for that crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and of course, aim down sight speed. Uh, you lose a little bit of recoil control here, but we don't really worry about that because you don't notice it. And then the two on this thing here is going to be a negative 1.42, and then all the way maxed out for aim walking speed, giving us a little bit more mobility out of this stock. For our final attachment, though, we're going to go down here on the true tack grip, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. I love speeding up my guns, so if I have the option to run like a true tack or something like that, I generally speaking will go for that. 
and the tune on this is gonna be a negative 0.39 and negative 0.13 so that's gonna be my full builds here for the vaznev 9k really fun low recoil definitely try it out next up we're taking a look at the fennec 45 one of my personal favorite builds here in the entirety of the game this actually works really well in warzone this is kind of like a warzone meta build that you guys can even run over there so regardless if you're playing multiplayer or warzone this build's gonna work out really solid for you but uh this is a such a fast ttk smg probably the fastest ttk smg in the entire game all right so hop into these attachments here you guys can be able to see kind of what i'm running but first one is going to be once again the x10 rr-40 ain't got to explain this one uh the two on this thing is gonna be negative 0.36 there and a negative 0.48 on the bottom that is a real great way to be able to run this on this gun um after that we're gonna go down here to the underbarrel section run the fss shark fin 90 this can help with your aiming idle stability um we don't really need to run some of the other grips down here like maybe like a phase three because that's gonna start slowing us down uh this actually has no cons which is fantastic so it's gonna help stabilize the gun out without like you know really slowing you down which is a really good thing the two on this is negative 0.65 and a negative 0.32 so definitely try that out tell me how you guys think and then after that we're gonna go up here to the top run the vlk laser 7mw like i said between the ole uh laser and of course then this thing these two are just fantastic to be able to run same thing different name so definitely go and give this a try um and then after that we're gonna go down here to the bottom fennec 45 round mag you really can't go wrong with the 45 and i say that this actually is a necessary attachment maybe unlike the vaznev 9k this thing has a super super fast fire rate so you're gonna blow through that base 30 round magazine incredibly fast so i definitely say that no matter what build you have for the fennec you need that 45 round mag and this is going to be pretty necessary our last attachment here we're actually running the fennec rubber grip for a spray to fire speed and aim down sight speed just got to speed this thing up here a little bit as i believe this actually works out really nicely and it's not going to mess your recoil control too much and then the two on this thing here's me negative 0.61 and a negative 0.13 there on the bottom this is my full fennec build hope y'all try this one out and this is one of my favorite builds in multiplayer right now now we're gonna go over a gun that's really underrated here in multiplayer the pdsw aka the p90 this is such a solid smg that when you build it the right way it'll do a lot of work but i think a lot of people kind of stray away from it and try to go for you know other guns such as the fennec the vaznev so on and so forth but the pdw or pdsw is a really good submachine gun popping into this here you guys can see my attachments on screen but let's get into the very first one here which is going to be the barrel uh the barrel is the 18.6 75 cloak 90 kind of an interesting name there but it's a built-in silencer here and a barrel so sound suppression bullet velocity recoil control and damage range so like i said it's built in so you don't have to have a muzzle attachment or rather you can't it's not possible this thing's because it's built in so definitely go for this is a really solid barrel uh, the two on this thing here is gonna be a negative 0.18 and negative 0.31 highly recommend you guys try this out as this worked out really well for me at that laser section tried and true 7 mw laser ADS speed, aiming stability, sprint and fire speed. Ain't gotta explain this one. I mean, it just does wonders. And I mean, if you're rushing around, this is just such a great attachment to be able to run on a large majority of guns. That's that. We went for a red dot sight here just because I wasn't as much of a fan of the iron sights um, as opposed to some of the other guns. And the Cronin Mini Pro works out really well. So this is a blue dot red dot sight you guys get from leveling up that expedite shotgun to level seven. So highly recommend you guys do that. It's only level seven and it gives you that coveted blue dot that we all love. So definitely recommend to do that. The two on this thing here is going to be maxed out for your ADS speed and also maxed out for far distance. Far distance, for those guys that don't really understand that, it actually moves your red dot sight further away from you, like on visual view versus if you put it as close, you guys can take it into the firing range and you'll be able to see it's a lot closer to you and you want it farther away. Helps eliminate visual recoil, makes it so you can see more around you. Overall, a really great thing to be able to do for pretty much every single sight in the game. After that, we're going to go down here to our comb, actually, which is the TV to comb. And where this is going to give us a sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. There's a weird bit of a tongue twister right there, but uh, this is just a good attachment. It's pretty much like a rear grip, but the P90 or the PDSW doesn't really have a rear grip or the same thing. But the two on this thing here is going to be a negative or a plus 0.16 and a negative 0.14 there on the bottom. Now for our actual rear grip, uh, we're going to be running the Bruin Q900. This is going to give us sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. Just got to speed this thing up here once again. And then the tune is going to be a negative 0.71 and a negative 0.30. So this is my full build here for the PDSW. Definitely try it out. Really underrated and actually pretty solid. And for a final gun here in this top five, I have to give you guys a build for the mini back. This is such a good SMG. One of my actual favorites to run just kind of in general besides the Fennec. Uh, this is such a hard hitting gun and it's got a great magazine size the biggest out of any smg so uh, this is a force to be reckoned with here in multiplayer hopping into these attachments you guys can kind of see what i'm running here on screen my face cam covers a couple of them but uh first thing in here x10 rr40 you guys know the drill 
on this one ain't gonna explain this too much the two on this thing here is gonna be a negative 0.99 and negative 0.32 just gotta speed this thing up while still getting all the benefits of it so that's pretty sick um at that we're gonna go to the barrel and run the only barrel you guys get which is the back dash 9 279 millimeter barrel damage range increase hip fire accuracy and bullet velocity i find this gun much like the lockman sub to feel significantly weaker when i do not happen to have a barrel on it so i more often than not actually will Pretty much 10 times out of 10 now i go for a barrel on this thing it just feels so so much more effective especially when you're not playing something super close quarters like shipment and shipment you could probably get away with it but otherwise definitely recommend a barrel after that fss ole v laser ads speed aiming stability and sprint to fire speed all really great things here to have on this gun uh, something i really love doing after that we're gonna go in here the stock section which my face cam was covering the marquee r7 stock Crouch movement speed, sprint speed, and aim down sight speed. We don't really care about the crouch movement speed at all because we're not really ever crouching. We just care about that sprint speed and ADS. So those are the two big things here. You guys could always try the O-Trees at, which could be a pretty solid option as well. Uh, but I just like to go for the Marquee R7 and it's worked out beautifully. The two on this thing here is going to be maxed out for your ADS and also maxed out for your aim walking. One of the very few attachments where you can actually max it out and not mess up the attachment in the first place. So that's kind of a neat one right there. And then for our last attachment, the true tack grip. This is a tried and true, no pun intended, uh, you know, attachment. Sprint to fire and aim down sight speed. You know, you really can't go wrong. That's what we need to do for all of our SMGs. And the tune on this is going to be a negative 0.81 and a negative 0.45, aka maxed out on the bottom. So this is going to be my full build here. Hope you guys enjoyed this top five. You guys did give it a like, subscribe, and check out one of these other videos here on screen. Just remember, don't be Randy, and I'm out. Peace.